not. I can't just think of stuff I, like that. Just say whatever we you want. have no imagination. <laughs> um, <laughs> just say whatever you want. I should have thought of things to talk about before I came. You should have. Well, you, okay. I didn't. Okay, what are the things you normally talk about? The things I normally talk <laughs> about? <laughs> In your everyday life. I don't know. It's going to be a problem, I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> Hello, this is, this is the Experience Podcast with me and someone else. Ariana. And Blake. Oh, you guys actually got it. Okay, some usually people will say, and someone else, and there's no um, one there. Sorry. Anyway, one of these people I've been trying to get on, I feel like a couple of times, the other one has been begging to come on. <laughs> okay, Daniel. I mean, begging. <laughs> actually, John Roberts almost <laughs> got to that point. I, did Did I tell you? Really? No. No, you were there. I asked John, do you want to come on? He was like, oh, I don't know about that. And then I asked Blake, who's standing right next to him. Oh, then you asked to come back on, right? And then, n- then John was like, oh, you know what? I'll, I'll do it, actually. I'll come back on. <laughs> but we need a deep dive into John Roberts' childhood and stuff. Yes. Yeah, he may need his own podcast. Well, he's he's going to get yes. his own one-on-one because uh, there's a lot to go through with that. Yes. Um, anyway, uh, how are you guys doing? I'm so good. I'm really tired. It's been about 15 hours since we saw each other. Yep. Mm-hmm. 18 hours. In that 15 hours, we uh, did some things. What did you do? I slept. That's all you did? <laughs> That's the most exciting thing I did. Well, what did you do last night while you were out on the town? Out in the town? I was just walking around laughing at all the people who couldn't walk straight. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Ariana? <laughs> um, I uh, went to Nadia's housewarming party. Yeah, thanks for the invite. <laughs> <laughs> Um, it was a very small party, and well, you know, I stayed there for like an hour, and then I went to some frat houses, but they were really lame, so really? I left around like... I feel like people more. say that more well, and more each year. So like, we went to two of them, I'm not gonna say their names, Go ahead. But what do they rhyme with? <laughs> My To be fair, all, half the Greek letters rhyme. Relt. So. <laughs> See, I didn't even get it. Yeah, I that. don't get that because <laughs> well, those those were the ones that the two two different ones that rhyme with those things. Okay. But um, those were kind of lame. The second one that we went to um, had literally no one in it. Jenny just wanted to say hi to someone. Um, I feel like she does that with half the front party. She's like, yeah. let's go to this one because I want to say hi to this one person. Yeah. Oh, they're not even here. And so then we went to Kappa Sig, which was very very crowded. That's Connors, right? Yes, it Nadia is Connors. calls me at uh, yeah, what at time? One eight. Uh, one eight. eight. It's like twelve thirty. It's like twelve thirty, right around the time Blake filled out the form. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, she, at first she calls and she immediately hangs up. Yeah. Do you know were you with her at yeah, the time? No, I, I was exactly Wait, Why there. did she hang up immediately? Because I think she thought you were asleep. And also, um, one of my friends is in Kaposig from GTL, and he was like, "I can only get in like a couple of you guys. So do you know anyone else?" And she was like, oh, Connor, but like, what's his last name? Because apparently there's like four Connors oh, really? in Kappa Sig. So you just say, it's Connor, and then they'll know. Well, maybe not. Maybe they're like, which Connor? <laughs> but yeah, it's Brodzinski, so you guys got in? Yeah, we did get in. Right. But the uh, security guard was being really weird. He uh, didn't give Nadia the 21 and up wristband, and he gave me a 21 up and up wristband. Well, maybe he thought you were more attractive. <laughs> He looked at my ID and probably said, oh, 1999, 21. <laughs> yeah, I don't think the math checks out there. Uh, <laughs> Blake, did you get wild last night? Did he get wild? No. Why not? Why not? It was your chance. And you didn't, you chose not to get wild with us a week ago. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I've been pretty lame since I've gotten here. <laughs> there's, there's two more opportunities with the band to get wild. Okay. Um... And they're they're probably not as wild as the first one anyway. Really? The last At least the one's second one. Wild. The second one isn't. Yeah, the last one's wild. The second one has food. It smells like lunch. Okay. Like you can get like you can you can have dinner at the second one. Okay. If you yeah, that's to. definitely a draw. Yeah. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Sure. I, wouldn't I, would, uh, I wouldn't rely on it for okay. dinner. But like, Don't if you're a guy who likes four meals a day, this will work. Yeah. <laughs> you can get some sausages. Yeah, they have sausages and. Uh, Those are pretty decent. Sometimes they have a. Uh, oh, they usually have a ham. Yeah, and pig. Yeah, yeah. Like a full pig. Yes, a full yeah, pig. Yeah, like a full pig. Really? Yeah. Yeah. 
who goes through the trouble of getting a full pig? The tubas. Oh, okay. <laughs> they, they throw That's every surprising. Yeah. So. Um, okay, so we I, we have we started this game last time. We debuted it with Will, who Ariana hates. Um, and so... Uh, I don't know why. Do not hate him. Uh, and so... Uh, it worked okay. Tanner didn't like a couple of the questions, so of course, you know. But there's 50, so we'll do 25 and 25, okay? Okay. And these are kind of like... The, the segment, which is called... Tanner wants to call it speed dating, but you should not be asking these questions on a date, let's just okay. say. Um, I'm calling it questions or answers. Okay. That's okay. the name of the game. That's one of the questions. Okay. Who wants to go first? So it's the name of the game and one of the questions? It's all, yeah, well, that it's like, you know, when you name your <laughs> the album out, off of, like, the lead single. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but mm -hmm. you're giving away one of the questions, so now you're giving me time to think of the answer already. Okay, what's your answer to questions or answers? Well, I haven't developed a thought. Alright, well, you're not going to get that question, so we'll start with Ariana okay, and okay. take the first one. And these are more tame. They get weirder as they go on. Okay, good. Oh, yeah, yeah. These are weird ones. Yeah. Really. Alright, All right, are you ready? Uh-huh. This isn't really time. Tanner wants to time it, but I don't, okay, there's, no, there's no point. Yeah. Because th this will also theoretically spawn discussion. I mean, it did before. Uh -huh. Okay. Blue cheese or green eggs? Uh, green eggs. Have you ever danced on a boat? No. Favorite form of public transportation? Um, trains. Okay. Took you that long to think of that answer. <laughs> that was <a> long. <laughs> <laughs> Apple or Microsoft? Apple. Wide ruled or college ruled? College ruled. Did you study abroad? Yes, I studied abroad. <laughs> <laughs> Did you study abroad? No. Like, didn't get that one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> do you wear jeans in the summer? Sometimes. Uh, octopuses or octopi? Octopi. Do you charge your phone overnight? Yes. Hydrate or die straight? <laughs> Hydrate. Okay. Uh, big trash cans or small trash cans? Big trash cans. Uh, Microsoft Word or Google Docs? Uh, Microsoft Word. Microsoft OneDrive or Google Drive? Google Drive. Do you feel like you don't wear enough sunscreen? Yeah. I don't really burn. Alright, well, well. Wow. I'm the elite. Non-white people, I know. right? Uh, <laughs> black dress shoes or dr brown dress shoes? Brown dress shoes. Bold or italics? Italics. <laughs> Questions or answers? <laughs> answers. <laughs> That's the wrong answer. <laughs> <laughs> What's the deal with airplane food? Airplane food, it sucks. It's like all the same stuff. It's kind of small and it's gross and they don't really give you that many choices. Okay, that was good. Tanner was like, you messed that one up. I'm like, That's how it is. Um, concrete or cement? <laughs> They're the same thing. They're not. <laughs> cement. Cement it was used to make concrete. Whatever. Okay, grass or turf? Grass. Have you ever gotten secondhand sunscreen? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dan was like, definitely no. Like, really? Procrastination or participation? Procrastination. Dessert or desert? Dessert. For sure. Should rolling backpacks be allowed? No. I had one in middle school. <laughs> Alright, last question. Jeans or jeans? Jeans. <laughs> <laughs> okay, rolling backpacks. <laughs> What's I think this? I've seen one of those in my entire life. Just one. Really? Yeah. I, uh, when I moved to Houston for a few, for like six months, that was like the thing at the school. There. You lived in Houston? For like six Houston? months. Yeah. And you never wow. told me that. Well, I lived in Houston. Well, because I lived in New Orleans. Okay. And then when the hurricane came, we had to, I evacuated to mm. Houston. Really? So it's kind of... It's so how come when I said I was from Houston, you like didn't say a word about like the six fact months. That, yeah, but that's... Houston's not that cool. Out of 22 I mean, years, almost 23 yeah. years now, six months is a... Uh, out of all the places in Dallas, why would It was a nice city, Houston? actually. It was pretty good. Like, We're, if I had lived in Dallas, Atlanta for Texas. six months, I probably would have mentioned it to somebody. I, you know what? I might have just forgotten to say something, or maybe... Yeah, it might have just slipped my mind. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was... I moved there, uh, I spent, yeah, so the first half of, what would it have been, fourth grade in Houston, so it was a long time ago. Okay. Well. I do remember it. I went to, like, this, um, it was, like, this Jewish school. Oh, really? Are you yeah. Jewish? Yeah. So, I, I don't think that was the reason. I didn't go to a Jewish school. I actually went to a very Christian school in Orleans. <laughs> um, but I, the reason, I think it was just because of location and whatever. I think it was recommended or something. Um, so there was like a Hebrew school aspect. Anyway, but the point was like, there were, everyone there had a rolling backpack. Really? Like that was the thing there. Yeah, the only reason I had a rolling backpack, I had one in sixth grade and that was the only year because our backpacks were so heavy. My mom thought I was going to get scoliosis. So um, <laughs> she made that me get a rolling That is kind of backpack. a concern. It's what, yeah. plus 10% of your weight? 
Is that what you're supposed yeah, to carry? Yeah, mine was like super. And you weigh like 35 pounds, so. <laughs> <laughs> I was probably like. At that time. 80, 90 uh, pounds, probably. Yeah, so you should be. So, I should not have been carrying like a 15 pound backpack, but they didn't let us use lockers. They had little cubbies in the middle school, but they thought that um, people in middle school were gonna store drugs in the cubbies so they wouldn't let us use them, even though we had them. You'd be amazed how often that happened at my middle school, though. <laughs> People store drugs? Oh, yeah. Like, if, yeah, if you wanted drugs, it wasn't hard. In middle school? In middle school, school I'm I guess so, yeah, that's true. Yeah, I don't know about at your Houston Jewish school. <laughs> that's, that was an elementary school. <laughs> I went to middle school in Maryland. <laughs> so where haven't you lived? Uh, I, lived I lived in New York, uh, Pennsylvania, Louisiana, Texas, Maryland. I lived in Florida? No, but I go there all the time. My my grandparents live there, so oh, I'm there like okay. once a year. So that's like Texas for me. Except I lived in San Antonio yeah. when I was like two. Like yeah, like I go to I go to Florida often enough that I'm familiar enough with it. Um, okay, any other anything else on that? No. I don't remember the other questions. Oh, one thing though, you kept going back and forth between Apple and Microsoft, and I was a little <laughs> yeah. back and that. forth. No, no, there was one no, was Apple, was Microsoft, Google. then it switched to oh, Microsoft Google. Word or Google Drive. Okay, Docs. Apple is. No, but you chose Microsoft Word, and then you chose Google Drive. She chose Drive. Apple. She chose Apple, Apple first. Apple over Microsoft. And then Microsoft Word, and then Google Drive. Yes. As opposed to Microsoft Google Docs and Microsoft OneDrive. Because okay. I think. I've always used Microsoft Word, and then people started using Google Docs, and I'm just used to Microsoft Word. I think the formatting isn't as... Like, Google Docs is definitely not as robust. Yeah. It's much more limiting in formatting and other things like that. And Google Drive is just so easily accessible than OneDrive. OneDrive, OneDrive is... Well, we get OneDrive with our school accounts, so yeah. that's one bonus there. I just like Google Drive. I don't know why I don't like Google Docs, but... I don't like using like Google Slides either, really. I was Google a, slides are a, little weird. a Prezi person in high school. <laughs> oh boy. With your rolling backpack. <laughs> I didn't have a rolling backpack in high school, it was only in sixth grade. And I stopped. I went for the scoliosis. <laughs> okay, and yeah, yeah, cement is what's used to make concrete. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, like, so the question is, is there were a right or wrong answer to that question? There's no right or wrong answer to any of these questions. <laughs> I'm just the question is dumb. They're the same thing. It's just one makes the other. I said they get weirder as they go on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they started out pretty easy. Although green eggs are not a thing. Yeah, and I don't like blue cheese, so I just said green eggs. I, just, I was like, <laughs> blue cheese. What other color thing is there? Oh, green eggs. Okay. Um, you have green eggs and ham. You just put food, green eggs or ham. Food coloring in the green eggs and the ham. Yeah, you should have asked some green eggs or green ham. Him. Okay, we can change it. All right, Blake, are you ready? Sure. This is where it gets really wonky. Oh, okay, but not that one. All right, first one. Do you ever uh, do you have light sensitive sneezes? No, I hold my sneezes in big time. So I would all even the know. time. All the time. Yeah, I've been told You've it's never like really unhealthy. No, it's not true. But <laughs> I sneeze far below the average person because I don't let myself. Can you demonstrate? Oh no, because I don't. <laughs> For sneeze. the listeners, can you please? Yeah, you see the problem with that, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just fake it. Okay, is the TSA effective? No. <laughs> Tap water or bottled water? Bottled water. Wooden fence or metal fence? I need you to elaborate on the circumstances. There's no circumstance? It's <laughs> this or this? <laughs> Alright, um, metal fences. Wait a minute, did I skip a question? Oh no, that's down there. Um, spoon or fork? Fork. Do you use the electric scooters? I have used it one time. Of course, I've been here for less than two weeks. So. Uh, so they're not in Texas yet? No. Well, not that I'm aware. Really? They were in Europe. Yeah, they were in Europe. Yeah, they're all over they're Europe. All well, over maybe Europe. like downtown Auckland. I live far from there. I guess that's true. If you're not in the city, I guess. Uh, where was I? Oh, are skyscrapers nice to look at? I'd say so. This or that? That, for sure. <laughs> Should cargo shorts be allowed? Absolutely not. Uh, window or aisle? Window. Okay. Parking deck or parking lot? Parking deck. Sidewalk or walkway? Walkway. <laughs> Stop shaking your head at me. <laughs> For what? For, For all of the last questions. <laughs> For all of them. <laughs> For parking deck and parking lot? <laughs> all of them. Uh, do you ever stop to smell the flowers? I really don't. Uh, numbers or letters? Numbers. Do smartphones make smart people dumb? 
we're getting like really deep here. <laughs> <laughs> I told you they get strange. Um, I'll go with yeah. Okay. Uh, stairs or elevator? Stairs. You know Ariana's answer. Okay. Yeah. Entrance or exit? Uh, what ent- kind of person are you? Entrance. Okay. Should YouTube be called MeTube? Because that's who's using it. But you're not using it. It's MeTube. But they're saying you to us. Should YouTube be called Me Too? So no. Okay. Triple A or AARP? Triple A. Are rocking chairs bad for your back? How am I supposed to know? (laughs) (laughs) Do you have an answer? Uh, Yes, they are. Okay. Is Tanner attractive? Oh, yeah. (laughs) That's on the record. Trash or garbage? Trash. Uh, Target or Walmart? Depends on what you're getting. Target because I hate Walmart, but still I go. Uh, white or black? Careful. <laughs> you trapped me. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, like answer the question. <laughs> answer the question. My last name is White, so that's why I'm going White. Okay, sure, sure. <laughs> uh, last one. Have you ever worn a sweatshirt to a pool? I have actually. Okay, that's the last one. We're gonna have to go through that one. What's the circumstance oh when you wore a sweatshirt to a pool? Well, so I was on the swim team, and it's like cold. Inside, mm. like as an indoor pool? No, it was an outdoor pool, but it was still cold. It was like May. Oh, because you're swimming in May. In Texas, uh, Houston. It be that cold. Cold enough. No, it May. Should be, it shouldn't be below Isn't seventy. Houston, like super hot. Yeah. Yes. But, <laughs> I mean, it's still like cool. Remember, I'm used to it being constantly you're hot. You're used yeah, to it. Same. Being Yes. Do it. Yeah. No, you yeah. tried, but yeah. that didn't no. work. Yeah, that's no. what it is? Yeah. Okay. Okay, <laughs> is Tanner attractive? Go through that. Uh, why is there much to explain? Okay, that's <laughs> just getting really uncomfortable. I asked Tanner if I could ask that, and he's like, of course. <laughs> well, because he wanted an answer like mine. <laughs> he did. <laughs> Alright, is Tanner attractive? Sure. Mm, interesting. I called him Discount Tony Stark yesterday, and Peter Tilly ate that up. Because he has like those rectangular glasses and the hair was kind of the same. <laughs> and the, even the head shape was kind of the same. Yeah, I, no, I, see side by side. I see it. I pulled it side by side. It was pretty much spot on. Okay, okay. Now, can we talk? There was. There, can we talk about Which window one? over aisle? A window or aisle? Yeah. Okay, so if I'm on a moving vehicle, I immediately go to sleep no matter where I am. I was going to say, if you're sleeping, you okay. have to go with mm-hmm. window. If you want to yeah. get out, yeah. if you're a bathroom person, See, you I don't, need to go out. I'm a bathroom person. Bathroom. If you're a bathroom person, you got to go out. Yeah, I mean, it's understandable, but also, I just don't. Also, like, one time I sat in the window, and there was a guy whose hairy foot was behind me, like, on the like the plane, and oh, right next Lord, to my that's arm. That's unacceptable. So, I've been scarred, and I never want to sit in the window seat again. That has nothing to do with the window, though. You can, yeah, that can still happen with the aisle Yeah, they could definitely do that on the I mean, it's a little it's actually harder more likely on the because... Aisle. No, because they could easily wrap around If the they aisle. put their foot up on my armrest, then their foot's going to get smashed by the cart when they bring the drinks. They're not going to do that. They put their foot up next to my armrest on the plane. Why are they putting their feet up like that in general? I don't know, because they were gross. People are gross on planes. Well, you can't judge the seat. The seat did nothing to you. Yeah, that's not the seat's fault. Also, the the bathroom problem. The bathroom problem was a separate issue. That's a logistical thing. Middle is pretty bad, too, though. One time I got stuck between two people that were together from, like, with a business or something. And they didn't ask to switch? I offered to switch, and they were like, no, we're okay. And they, like, talked over me the entire plane ride. (laughs) (laughs) How long was the plane ride? Like... I think it was from to here. New York, maybe. So like two hours. Two hours. Yeah. Okay. Um, what was I gonna say? Ah, yes. What are you buying at? Why are you begrudgingly going to Walmart? Okay, because I don't know how it is here, but I have to wait in line for like thirty minutes when I go to Walmart. Interesting. Plus, like just the type people who go to Walmart. It's very different than the type? people who go to Tar- well. Yeah, like, I don't know. There's I feel like a lot of sketchy type. people go to Walmart over Target. No, who goes to Target? I don't know. All the high school girls. And <laughs> I was going to say, that, yeah. that's like a, a teen girl thing. Moms love Target. They do love uh-huh. Target. My mom loves Target. My mom loves Target, but she never goes because if she goes, she'll end up buying everything. Mm-hmm. Plus, like, here, do you get your groceries at Target? Uh, I get a couple things there that I know I can't get at Publix. 
Okay, see, I don't have Publix. And or any grocery store. If I, if I can't, yeah. if I know, even, even in Maryland, if I, well, Publix is a Southeast thing. I had never so heard Georgia, of Publix Florida. until about a week ago. Yeah, it's like Georgia, Florida. Oh my goodness. South we have Carolina. to get Jay Quillen a pub sub. I need to go to Publix today. We'll go, can you want to go to Publix? Sure. Okay, we're going to Publix. We're having a pub sub. Okay. We're getting, hey. oh, this is a separate thing. Tanner tried to make fried rice yes, uh, a couple days ago. That was a nightmare. Um, yeah, so if I if there's a couple things that I know aren't at Publix, then I'll get them at Target. Okay. See, I know they're at Target. Like, when I went to the Target here, there were so many more groceries and food there, and sometimes stuff they're than more expensive. Than though. Yeah, they're more Target. expensive. Target, if Target, yeah. Yeah. So you have to know what you're getting. Yeah. So website. I get different stuff. Yeah. So I'd prefer to go to Target, but I can't go to Target as often. You get home goods at Target, food at Publix, or anywhere you else. You can get like clothing at Target, cheap clothing. Yeah. 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 If you need. Though actually, I get so many clothes at Walmart, even though like it's kind of embarrassing it. because it's so cheap and it, like no one knows. No one knows. Are you wearing well, now everyone knows. Right that's, that's a whole Walmart outfit he's got think, on. Excuse me, I'm wearing the exact same thing that you. We are, are kind of wearing, wearing the same thing. You're literally <laughs> wearing the same. No, shirts. my shorts. Are, I was gonna wear those cargo shorts actually, but then I decided. You were gonna wear cargo shorts? No, no, those collared shorts. Oh, okay. Yeah, like, I was about like to, have to go off on you. Yeah. So no cargo shorts for either of you. No Absolutely cargo not. shorts. I feel like. There's a very niche, like if you're going to like a convention or something, and you got, you know, you need the extra pockets. Mm -hmm. Like there's no if circumstance you're going to a where you need because you oh need you need more because you're getting a lot of free stuff. Is what I'm saying. Bring a backpack or something. And you, you, and you be don't have a backpack. At a convention. No, no, no. It's like a like a uh, like a Comic Con. Kind oh, of thing. well, that's well, don't go in the first place. Just don't I'm go not to say, the Comic Con. I'm saying it's a very specific thing. Other than that, you wouldn't. See, when I was in Paris. Oh, you studied um, abroad? I did study abroad. Wait, did you study abroad did with I Rachel? I studied abroad. I did study did. abroad with Rachel. Speaking um, of her, um, did she already have her party? <laughs> actually, she and if so, why was I not? She's having a party. It actually is next week. Next you Saturday. invited, didn't you? Oh. Everyone okay. in the Trump section is invited. I am on Facebook. So you didn't, you didn't get an invite? They probably Maybe just I don't. I don't have, get on. They're probably not friends if they're on Facebook. Yeah, though recently so. a she bunch said, of like, people invite have started. Everyone yeah, who... yeah, you're invited. Okay. Saturday, I think it's 8 p.m. Uh, yeah, just ask Jenny. If I'm you're not a party. trumpet, you're not allowed to come. Yeah. <laughs> there will be a special guest at the party. Oh. Um. Who? Yeah, you'll see. Anyway. That's a tease. How high party. should I get my hopes for this? Oh, you won't know the special guest. Oh well, then. Why do you know the special? Yes. Is it Noah? No, in the same ballpark though. Okay. Uh, uh, anyway, cargo this shorts. This podcast also is going to come out like two weeks after the party. So. <laughs> cargo shorts. When I went to oh, Disneyland God. Paris, I made an effort to count how many cargo or I actually no, it wasn't cargo shorts. It was jorts. I counted how many jorts Can I, I, I saw. That? I need an outlet. Oh my goodness, Daniel! You I'm trying really? to talk here. And okay, just go. You didn't have your. Out. Laptop how, how are you going to figure it out? <laughs> I think there's maybe one over there. Yeah, I think there's one over there. Um, so keep talking. I'm going to yeah. walk around. So I counted how many jorts I saw in the entire day. And I saw like two or three cargo jorts. Cargo jorts? What does Jorgos. that even look like? They look like jorts with pockets. Daniel, what's your opinion on cargo, cargo jorts? jorts? I don't think jorts should be allowed. No, so they cargo be. jorts are definitely That's, that's like a double. Like, yeah, that's, they're they're yeah. terrifying. Yeah. So many men were wearing them. In Europe? Yeah. Well, okay. I didn't see it So many much. men were wearing jorts. Yes. But I saw maybe like yes. three people wearing cargo jorts, which is just terrible. Terrible. <laughs> and they call themselves the fashion center of the world. I don't, I don't know. I, I am convinced that the French people are robots. Um, it was like 104 degrees, and they were still wearing hoodies and jeans, and that's just unacceptable. Why does it sound like very good fashion? No, exactly. Like, jeans are not fashionable. That was the, do you wear jeans in the summertime? Yeah, I mean, like, sometimes when it's like 70 degrees out at night, but like, or like, summer in France, sometimes it was cold. So yeah, I did wear jeans in the summer. Sometimes it was 104, and they had no AC. And I never saw any French person sweat. I don't know. I don't know how it happened. But they also whisper. They don't talk above a whisper. So I am convinced that they're not real people. They're robots. Blake, how's that pillow? How's that pillow? I like it. Look, it has... I don't know what that is. <laughs> You're heavily embracing it, so that's why I had to ask. Okay. You've got some nice pillows. Yeah, the pillows are really nice. This one's very See, soft. Like, yeah. 
See, isn't that nice, Daniel? <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, I don't even know. What are we talking about spirit band assignments? Oh, yeah, spirit band assignments. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anyone cares about that. <laughs> they do care. We're gonna play <laughs> Guess Which Spirit Band They're In. <laughs> Leo Zhang. Um, he's in my spirit band. Nope. Nope. He's with Carl. <laughs> Why are we playing this? This is a really dumb <laughs> game. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, the assignments went up. I guess probably every person that listens to this podcast probably knows who all these people are. Yep. No one else would listen uh, to this. I don't really know. You know what? There, we do have an international audience. Do you? <laughs> yes. Is people it from the people studying not. abroad? No, it's not just yeah. people studying abroad. There's like someone from Thailand, I think, maybe. People in Thailand listen to your podcast. Yeah, it's weird. Maybe not Thailand. Well, now you just called on us, so they're not going to listen yeah, to they're definitely Yeah, not, they're definitely going to stop now. But we def- it's definitely more wow. than just the United States. It's still like 95% U.S., but... Mm-hmm. Is yeah. it mostly from Atlanta? How how in depth can you look at your? Uh, I can look at that actually. It's like sixty percent of the United States people are from Atlanta. Okay. There's some California. There's some Texas. Oof. I think Blake's parents listen to this podcast. I think that's what yeah, you said. Probably. Yeah, they do. Yeah. I'm gonna Take. have to uh, get a sub on the first game. The football game or volleyball? No, volleyball can't make it. Do we have the first one? Mm-hmm. Next Friday. Yep. The day after Clemson. Yeah. Yep. That's unfortunate. I love that. There's no band rehearsal though, so it's yeah, nice. but you know, I have I have a life. I already made Friday plans, so uh, I don't think I have plans. So if any first trumpets are listening to this yeah. podcast as it's being filmed, I know you should live, get on it. <laughs> I know you should please, <laughs> please, please like, stop for me. Again, again you're listening to it as it's being <laughs> this <laughs> <going> right now. <laughs> again, this episode comes out like two weeks after. <laughs> <laughs> well, Anoush, please. Sub for my spirit band. <laughs> In the past. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. Uh, anything else you guys want to touch on? So, Daniel, is this your last year at Georgia Tech? <laughs> That's what we're talking about? Yeah. Uh, hopefully it I'm is. Curious. I have to pass my classes. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure curious you're... about your first year yeah. at Georgia Tech. It was your first um, week. It was pretty good. That sounds rough. <laughs> wow, thank you. <laughs> I'm not sure how you went from there. Okay. <laughs> how are your classes? Are, are there any tryhards? Are you the tryhard? Oh, for sure. Oh, I'm not really a tryhard. <laughs> are you showing up to class? That's I am showing up to class. So Don't ditch class. Best okay. place to start. What what row do you sit in? What row? Um, I'd say normally like kind of in the middle. Okay, that's mm-hmm. exciting. Yeah, because I don't want to like walk in and sit at the back, but I also don't want to be the kid on the front mm-hmm. row. So mm-hmm. Good call. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Front row sitters are sometimes, not all the time, sometimes obnoxious. Um, no, there, I'm in a chemistry class with like 250 people, and it's like the same three people who keep raising mm-hmm. their hand over and over. That's mm-hmm. how those classes are. Right? Yep. There's so many people, but there's only three people that are saying anything. About 250. It's like 220. How would you know? Because I took that class too. Yeah, I, yeah, I took that class. There could be different amounts of people. I mean, so I guess that was four years ago. Are taking yeah. chemistry. Remember, you're very old, Dave. <laughs> yes, I'm so old. Who do you have for chemistry? Um, Please say Donald Doyle. No. Uh, triple D? Yes, Triple D. <laughs> That's what I call him. Dr. I Donald Doyle. Triple, triple D. D. He's not that great. He call, of a professor. He's not that good. He calls himself Dr. D squared. <laughs> Which is not as good as Triple it's D. It's not good as Triple D. Or D cubed. Dr. That's if you're gonna shorten it, shorten it like D. Yeah. Take all the D's. Dr. Donald Doyle. Put all the D's in one. I wonder what his middle name is. I hope it's gotta be like D. David. Yes, Donald David. <laughs> Donald David Doyle. Doyle. <laughs> Donald David Doyle. <laughs> He's so good. He gave me M and M's every single class because he would have those competitions where you guess what song he's playing. Mm-hmm. I was always why, why is he doing that? I don't know. It was the start of the class every single time. And then one time he played Under Pressure, and it's got the same intro as Ice Ice Baby. So I said Ice Ice Baby, and it was wrong, but he still gave me M and M's. So I love Triple We did not do that. I took him for bio for a survey of biochemistry. Uh, so uh, we were like rushing. A more seriously. Mm, we were just rushing through the material, but also the test questions were exactly the same as previous test questions from previous years. Okay. Like he just, it's the exact same question. Yeah. He's pretty lazy, honestly. Oh yeah, kind of. He's more of a research kind of guy than a lecture. Is he though? Because he also gets sick like all the time. <laughs> yeah. He's sick like five times throughout the semester. He's like, <laughs> oh, I got a cough. I can't come in today. In. Yeah. No, we, he just canceled our class. So we might have some visitors, like, any second now. 
Yeah, come that's good. Me. They'll come on the episode too. Okay. I mean, I promise. Have you, you ever done that? Like, just ask someone random to just come. Of course, that's kind of what you did with me, but you, know, <laughs> like, you aren't random. I know, I know. But just like someone passing by. You gave off the vibe like you wanted to come on the show. Really? Is that not true? <laughs> I mean, I don't. I wouldn't say necessarily tried <laughs> to give off that vibe. No, I think you were, you were. You know, I was in the right place at the right time yeah. because somebody else said they didn't want to do it. Because <laughs> John Roberts refused. Exactly. And Jonathan Delosier backed out. Jonathan Delosier backed out. And so did Nadia. Sorry, Jonathan Deloser okay. is what Deloser. he's called. Yes. Oh like my that. goodness. Yeah, that's his middle school nickname. Is it really? Probably it's not the hard, yeah. Like hard, most likely. <laughs> Kids these days, or those days, whenever. Are you yeah. excited for your first game, Jake Quellen? I'm very excited. Clemson's going to be cool. Except it's we're going to lose by like 45 It'll points. probably rain again. It's going to rain. We're it's going to get yelled at, and they're going to call us a bunch of nerds. And we're going to go back to our nerd school as a bunch of losers. That place, have you been to Clemson? I have not been to Clemson. That place is in a farm. Really? It's, it's in the just middle of a farm. nowhere. It's just a farm. It's in a pit. You have to, like, you when you get off the highway, you turn onto this farmland, and you think it's the, we made a wrong turn, but that's just where the school correct. is. <laughs> this is where it is. And and we go over, like, this moat, I think, too? Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah. You just drive in the middle of nowhere, and then you have to <laughs> you walk through there. all the tailgaters to this oh, yeah. giant pit of a stadium. It's literally just a hole in the ground. At least it's a cool stadium. It's a rough stadium. It gets very loud, obviously. Death Valley. Yeah. They, they also like the their band, so... It definitely earns the name. Because it kind of caves in a little, if you know what you're not seeing. Yeah. So it traps the sound in there. Yeah. I mean, it's, that's cool. It's one of the loudest stadiums I've been in. Maybe the loudest one. Yeah, it's pretty loud. I'm having to learn how to hate all these schools around here. Because, like, I've grown up hating the schools that Texas... Texas A&M, like. yeah. Yeah. Jerks. They are. <laughs> what, Texas, what Texas school are you supposed to like? Well, I like University of Texas. Which one? Longhorn. The Texas. Texas. At, at Austin? Yes, yes. At Austin. There's different branches. Yeah, but that's the main one. The main campus. Yes. They know. I'm more of a Georgia Tech uh, South Korea person. <laughs> <laughs> Georgia Tech Lorraine. Uh, okay, so, I mean, University of Houston is not really a place people root for that much. Um. I have a couple of friends going there, and yeah. whatever. Yeah. Do you like SMU? Um, not particularly. I have a good friend going there, though. Okay. What's wrong with SMU? Nothing's wrong with them. I just, they're just... <laughs> she hates SMU. I hate I SMU. Yeah. Oh, you hate SMU? I don't care. My cousin went to SMU. Yeah. I have a friend of a friend that's at SMU. I am indifferent about SMU. I like UT Austin. And I used Texas to want to go to Texas A&M, but then I realized how military their band yes. was, so... Yeah, no, my mom, whenever she was go trying to decide which school to go to, she almost went to A&M, but since you had to be in the core... Yeah, and I was like, I'm good. Yeah. UT Austin would have been cool, because then I would look like a cowboy in their band. Yeah. Those uniforms are interesting. Yeah, both of my parents were in that, the UT band, and so was my sister, so I've grown up. So why did you choose this place? It's a better school. Yeah. Is that a good enough explanation? Okay. It's and actually it's, pretty equivalent for, well, but he, well, for certain majors. For right? some, but not for engineering. He I mean, loves bridges. I love bridges. Are you civil? Like, loves bridges. I am civil. I don't know anything about he how civil ranks. He loves so. bridges. Like, yeah. Oh my goodness. For civil, this is the number two school in the country. So. Oh. There's a little tiny bridge we go over to get to Clemson. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, get strap in. Already. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Saddle up. As they say in Texas. Mm -hmm. I like it. I like the okay. reference. Yeah. Me Makes me feel like home. Exactly. I mean, Texas and here, they're both like five, six for computer engineering, so. Yeah. Not much difference. Yeah. I also just wanted to like, like go somewhere else. Yeah. Uh, be where I grew up. Check out Publix. Yeah. Check out Publix. Yeah. That is yeah. why I came to Atlanta. For Publix. Uh -huh. So good. It's okay. I don't know why people love Pub it so subs. much. Pub subs. You gotta go to pub sub, mm -hmm. especially the holiday sub at Christmas time. It's fine. It's so good. Most it's supermarkets good. are fairly interchangeable. No, Publix is not interchangeable. You know, what other place has great subs. I, I said most places you can for for the most part. I mean, you can get a sub at like a pl a sandwich shop. Yeah, but while you're shopping. For groceries. That line is always, also always so. too long. 
Like, I don't want to wait 20 minutes at the Publix to get a sandwich. And the chicken tender sub is always on sale. It is. Always. That's strange. Then, then it's never on sale. Yeah, that's true. If something's always on sale, it's never on sale. That's just the price. Mm-hmm. You know what's terrible about Atlanta? There's no water burger. <laughs> like, it was, like, literally, I almost cried whenever I passed the last water burger on the way here. What other Texas place are you, more, are you upset about? Well, okay, at least Chick-fil-A is huge here, obviously. Because if I had to give up Whataburger and Chick-fil-A, I may not have come. But, um... They have five guys. There's five guys down the corner. Yeah. Wait. Yes, for sure. But there is a Chewy's here, apparently. (gasps) Yes, I love Chewy's. You want to know something crazy? My sister and brother-in-law named their dog Chewy after the (laughs) restaurant Chewy's. Not after the Star Wars character. No. No, no, Chewy's. That's what most people assume. But, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's one, like... Of the perimeter mall. Okay, how so far is that? Because I'm gonna have to go eventually. 25, 30 minutes. It's worth ish. it. The perimeter mall? With yeah, traffic. That's, that's that close. Yeah, it's, it's not that close. If you don't have a way to get there, it's not close. I do have a car. Yeah, okay, there yeah. you go. Well, there is it. one at the perimeter mall and on the perimeter, the mall at on the perimeter or whatever. There's two different ones. I don't know. But creamy jalapeno sauce? Oh, yeah. That's the only reason to go. <laughs> Those chips? Mm. Yes, so I do miss it, but at least I'll get some eventually. No, I had never heard of um, cookout until like last week. That's a very southeast. Oh, yeah, like it's like not like Florida. not even southeast, like east, southern east coast. Okay, that's a very specific. Like Georgia, region. South Carolina, North Carolina. Yeah, not Florida. Florida. It's not Florida, and it doesn't really get to Virginia or Maryland. Mm-hmm. Though I do hear they have a million milkshake options. So they do not have a million. They good. have like two hundred. No, not even. Like they have quite a bit, and you gotta get a cookout tray. That's okay. that's necessary. <laughs> they bumped up the price, didn't they? They did. It's like five fifty now or something. Disappointing. Did you get for a milkshake? You, no, you, oh, get, no, for you the, get an entree. Oh, but yeah, aren't they really cheap though? Right. Two sides. Yeah, I'm yeah, telling you what it is. It's still really cheap. <laughs> yes. I'm telling you what it is. Okay, continue. Um, what were we talking about? <laughs> uh, you get an entree, two sides, and then a drink. You can substitute a milkshake for like another dollar or something. And it's good to know because I mean, we go to Waterburger and just get like ridiculously huge milkshakes. So I need yeah, to replace for you. Boy, it's good for you. It's good. Yeah, it's really good for me. Mm-hmm. I enjoy it, so that's the most important that's, part. Yeah, I know. It's good. Uh, it's good yeah. for your mental health. Yeah. I Thank you. Seven Elevens. There's not many Seven Elevens around. Yeah, not not in this area. Yeah, I mean, QT's a good replacement. Is Seven Eleven good? I don't know. They're they just slushies. there for. Is it just there for when other places are closed? No, 7-Eleven is the good gas station in Florida. Racetrack I know, but like you're, you're comparing it to other gas stations. I'm saying in a vacuum, would you really, if it's like Saturday at 3 p.m., are you really going no, to 7-Eleven? No, yeah, exactly. That's, that's like and a you go to, you go to 7-Eleven Saturday at 3 a.m. I want a slushy kind of thing. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's not. Yeah. There, are not, there aren't Bucky's anywhere near here, are there? No. no. That's like the huge thing around me. It's like they're gas stations, but they're like huge. Like there's so much like they like cook food and stuff, and there's like all this different stuff that you can get. And then like if you go there on a weekend or like near a holiday, I mean you can't even get into this parking lot. It's absolutely massive. So it's like everyone goes crazy. People wear the shirts and stuff. I mean that's like Waffle House here. Yeah, Waffle House is really big here for some reason. Have you been to Waffle House? I have since I got here. Do you like Waffle House? It's fine. Fine. Like it's just fine. I, I yeah. you know what? Go back and <laughs> when is it? I think uh, a couple episodes ago, I was talking. You know Carl? Yeah. Not Carl in no. our section. A different Carl. Okay. Carl oh wait, no. Actually, Jacoby? I think I. Yeah. I think I. And uh, who else was on there? David Hogan. They were on. We were on, and, and uh, Tanner. They were. You know, they were. Friends. They studied abroad. Uh huh. With, with Rachel. Did uh, they say they really missed Waffle House? Well, they, we were talking about Waffle House, and I was like, Waffle House is not good. Mm-hmm. It's only it's, good because it's open all the time. It's so good. Is it? The waffle's so good. Is it though? It's very flat. How much better is it than like an Eggo waffle? Exactly. Oh, it's much better than an Eggo waffle. Really? Yeah. It's made with love. Is it though? It it's made. It is. It's made by like a woman who's been working there for 12 hours Yes, a day it's made with and love. And just wants to go home. They're so nice. It's way better than IHOP. Waffles is only good. I disagree with Waffles that. Waffles is only good because it's open all the time. If it were open normal hours, it would not be getting this kind of praise. Wow. Okay. 
whatever. Because the food is just kind of okay. Waffle yeah. House has much better customer service than I have. It depends. No, I've, I've had mixed customer service at different Waffle Houses. Yeah, I mean, like, are you only talking about the one on Tech Square? Because that one is pretty yeah. nice, but... There's one um, the on one West on Campus over here. Is yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, okay. the, that, that's, that place gets very crowded. Yes. I don't know about anywhere else. I mean, they both the two crowded. right by campus are very good. Like, the one in my town, I've only been there once, so I can't really say anything about it. But the, the IHOP in my town sucks. So you can't base a whole franchise it's just on, like, one or two one, of them? Yeah. I've been to one in uh, Pensacola. Not Pensacola. <laughs> I don't know why it's so Panama City Beach. Uh, <laughs> it was okay. But, I mean, again, it's, it's fine. It's fine. The menu is very limited. You, you would think it would waffle. have a bigger list. You just list. need a waffle, that's all you need. You would think they, they would have more. It's also a little confusing because it's just picture based <laughs> and then like toppings are at the bottom. So it's not very clear what is an option and like how much food you're getting. Blake, did you know Waffle House has their own songs? Their own songs? <sighs> yeah. Wow. They have a CD with songs on it that are Waffle House originals. Do you know why are you shaking your head? Because <laughs> I know what she's talking about. <laughs> One of them is called Raisins in My Toast. And the whole song is about how there are raisins in my toast. And it's like almost like a Frankie Valley kind of song, but like it's strange. about raisin toast. Okay. They have it on their jukebox. I'm, I'm sure it's you'll fantastic. hear it from someone mm -hmm. later on. Mm -hmm. So they built a Waffle House like on the way from my house to my high school, mm -hmm. and for about two weeks, like everyone stopped there like almost every morning, and everyone would go crazy over it. And then after that, I don't think anybody's gone again. I had never seen anybody in there it's, it's, because it's not that good. Well, like, you would only go at two a.m. because nothing else is open. Yeah. Or That's on Christmas so because you're Jewish. It warms your heart. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a water it, it close to me that's 24 hours. Though. It warms your heart. It burns your heart. <laughs> I don't know. It, it, yeah, I think it, it, it's it's very overrated. It's fine. Okay. Sometimes it's not very clean too. Like yeah, but you overlook that. <laughs> you overlook you know, the, that. The love that was made. Is there love, love though? There is so much love. One I, time I had a waiter named Peanut. I have never it noticed. Was so sweet. <laughs> I've never noticed a difference in the love or or service or anything compared to any other restaurant. I don't know, they're really quick about everything. Sometimes they aren't, and sometimes they're not. Yeah, I, I, went, I went a couple of nights ago, and it took forever. Yeah. Was it super packed? Not really. I'd oh, say it was like interesting. half Interesting. Yeah, exactly. Well, I don't know, maybe you just got on No, I feel like they have people. better service when there's more people. Like, they yeah, are quicker, true, they're they are very quicker very when there's more people in the restaurant. And there's this one lady with curly hair, and she complimented all of us for our curly hair. We, we said See, we Blake and I, I guess that's why we don't like yeah. Love House as much as you do. <laughs> See, Blake, that was a sneeze. That's called a sneeze. Yeah, see, I don't like that. Go ahead and demonstrate it. <laughs> Why would I want to do that? Like, what's the good part about sneezing? You let out a bunch of tension. But it's like, it's, in it's in just your body. messy. Like, it's gross. It feels like a weight has been lifted. But, like, that grossness you. needs to leave your body. Yeah. That's the point. I mean, I, it depends on the purpose of the sneeze. If it's just a tickle, then, it's, then there's no point in the sneeze. But if, you're, if there's something in there that your body's like, oh, I gotta get this out of my nose, or wherever it is, then that's why you would sneeze. You should just try it sometime. You know? yeah, actually, I actually <laughs> sneezed last night while I was sleeping. Like, while you were that's not possible. You know yeah, well, like, in the middle of the night, I like woke up, and I feel, felt like I really needed to sneeze. And then I held it in for a while, and then eventually I, I had to. And you're like, oh wait, no one's around. <laughs> no, I like, it's so that was embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> no one's around. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so that's exactly what went through my mind. <laughs> you have a roommate. Yeah. You have a roommate, right? I do have a roommate. Yeah, so there's someone around. Oh, uh, but yeah. they were asleep. What's his name, Chad? His name is Colin. Colin. Okay, I got to see you. Yeah. Colin, yeah, like, like, Colin, like, Colin, but like... It's like spelled like Colin, Colin but it's more like Colin. Colin? Yeah. Like you're, like, you're Colin. Like yeah. Colin Powell. Exactly, Colin Powell. Interesting. Yeah. He's from Wisconsin, so that's cool. So I'm a hockey team. Does he like cheese? I, Does he know Alex Chen? Does he know Alex Chen? I don't believe so. Is he on the hockey team? Yes. But then maybe he does. I don't know. I'll ask him next time. Okay. That's all I got about hockey. 
Okay, yeah, that's all I know about hockey too. But he would have noticed. Has he ever seen you sneeze? I don't think so. Can we bring him on and put on the record? Um, if, if you want it. It's not what bring time Blake's was. Bring Blake's roommate. <laughs> Blake's roommate. <laughs> Just to ask if he's seen you sneeze before? Yeah. I can almost, like, I can pretty confidently tell you that he hasn't. I mean, it's only been a week. It has been, yeah. So. Bring him back next year and ask him, did you ever hear Blake sneeze? <laughs> ever. Well, there's a slight chance he heard me last night, so that's why I was trying to avoid it, but... Why are you embarrassed about it, though? Like, I just think it's gross. Yeah, but it's not. Em- wow. So that's not. You're not answering the question. Why is it embarrassing? Because it's gross. That's it. Everyone does it. Yeah. Yeah. Please. Do you fart? Oh well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you you won't hold in a fart, but you'll hold in a sneeze. Well, no, I hold it in until like, <laughs> I can't. I, like until. Your yeah, Blake's over. Yeah. This is okay. Can we change this up? No. No. It's too late. Go ahead, Blake, elaborate. <laughs> no, I'm good. Do you cough? Yeah. So but coughing, coughing is harder fine? to hold in than sneezing. Really? Okay. Yeah. I would know because I try. It depends, yeah. You're all right. Sneezing has a higher velocity, cough. though. Like, that's mm-hmm. all it's about more force. Yeah. 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 It's all about force. But sneezes don't smell. And Cost farts, either. farts, too. Yeah, but I don't, can. I don't do that while there's other people. Mm. Okay. All right. You don't even sneeze when there's other, not other people. Are you afraid of blinking? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm afraid of breathing, though. That's I true. breathe as little as I can. You're afraid of breathing? <laughs> yeah, he doesn't want to, you know, use up all the air. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's embarrassing. You have to use that 16-count air. <laughs> he goes on, like, 24-count <laughs> air. <laughs> yeah, when no one's around here, I use the 4-count like, air. Yeah. So then whenever I'm here, I just don't breathe. Okay. Got it. Yeah. I don't know what other bodily functions he would be doing, but uh... I don't know. We've <laughs> <laughs> made Blake uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's a success. That was the point. That was the point. Of this. <laughs> Is that the whole point of this episode? That's the show, everyone. <laughs> 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 Anything else you guys want to plug before we, we end it? Blake, what's your Instagram? My Instagram is really really creative. Listen to this, Blake dot white. Mm-hmm. And you, I, I hear you have a, a brand. Do I have a brand? Why are you just doing that? Okay, Ariana, go ahead. My Instagram is Ariana Mastali. Um, if you don't know how that's spelled, Look it, it has up. two N's rather than one like Ariana Grande. And I'm not telling you how you spell my last name. So, um, I don't know. Come see my jazz concert October 8th when I'm the only girl playing in the jazz concert. Mm-hmm. And Blake's last question, black or white? <laughs> <laughs> You're the worst. Okay, that's My it. My last name is white, so <laughs> there you go. Yeah, we can't end the show like that. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>